Hey what is going on guys welcome back to a new video and in today's video I'm going to be talking about stocks that I'm currently buying for long term positions and short term positions as well as stocks that I'm looking at during this red week. This week has been a big correction and this brought a lot of fears into investors. This is mainly due to the fact that a 10 year treasury yield has been heading up and because of this when it hits higher investors typically go from growth stocks into value stocks. Stocks like Six Flags, Disney, uh, AMC, Cinemark, uh, you know any outdoor or stocks that are beat down that were heavily beat down during the pandemic which means stocks like apple tesla's ones that are really high growth stocks have been sold off and now they're going into more value stocks i'm going to be looking at travel stocks as well like casinos hotels airlines which have a lot of upside during this year now today in a couple hours powell will be speaking and he's the federal reserve in charge of raising interest rate and he will speak on the economy going forward and how it is now and however he speaks affects the market throughout this week and throughout maybe a couple weeks down the road. Now many investors think this is a crash and many fear but I think this is a correction much needed to head to higher highs in this bullish market. This is also a great opportunity to get into new investments like Tesla, NEO, uh, many EV or tech companies that are really in a big dip and could really rise up very fast with any good news as well as average down your positions in different stocks that you're probably heavily down in right now but could definitely grow down the road now during this week i've been averaging down my positions on bft sos stic esgc and excel now i'm not averaging down heavily because we don't know what power is going to say how it's going to go down the rest of the week or the next week uh, so we should be careful right here, not heavily average down or heavily buy in since we don't know if the market is going to keep on going down. Now we got the news that Workhorse and the USPS deal got thrown out the window. <laughs> Workhorse was depending on this deal to skyrocket their sales this year. With the deal not going through and only a couple units sold last year, so now that the deal is out of the equation, this means for Workhorse that it's heavily overvalued. Now without this deal, this means Workhorse is heavily overvalued with a couple units sold last year and they were expecting a big jump in sales this year with the deal, but now that it's out, Workhorse has just a couple of sales and revenue. This does not make any sense for them to get a big USPS deal for them to rise up even more than they are right now. A lot of these EV companies are heavily overvalued and expect so much and if it doesn't come true, they're gonna heavily dump just like Workhorse. Workhorse was a complete gamble, it's either you make it or you don't and you should have expected that because they were all just heavily invested in that deal. It's all gone now, the hype, the valuation, it's all gonna play to Workhorse. So I don't know what price target to give it but I believe it was going to be stuck between $10 and $15 for a while. Workhorse can even dump down to 5 bucks if bad news keep coming out. Remember to stay safe out there guys and a moment of silence for the Workhorse investors who bought at the peak. <laughs> Alright guys that's going to be the end of today's video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more stock and crypto videos. Don't forget to click the link down below to claim your free stock and if you sign up through my link you will get a free stock up to $500. Alright guys I will see you guys in the next video.